In my lessons, sometimes you'll see me use a digital caliper. They work really good um, for inches and millimeters. Or sometimes you'll actually see me pull out my dial caliper. Um, I started with a dial caliper and that's what I learned on. And, and don't let the numbers and the lines and stuff confuse you. They're actually real simple to, to operate. Um, so if you look at the dial, it it's, goes from 0 to 0.5 to 1, um, 0.5, 2, 3. So actually each one of those is a millimeter. So if I open this up to there, that's one millimeter. Each one of the marks is um, a half of a tenth. So, for example, that would be one half of a millimeter. The next mark would be 0.55. The next mark would be 0 0.6. The next mark, 0 0.65, 0 0.7, 0 0.75, 0 0.8, 0 0.85, 0 0.9, 0.95 and then 1.0 millimeters and it's, it goes that way all the way around so just remember the little marks are one half of a tenth of a millimeter and the longer marks are a tenth of a millimeter there's there's ten longer marks in between the zero and the one the one and the two so so once you you get these and the neat thing about these is they're very accurate and the batteries never run out sometimes the batteries on this will run out on me and I'll have to go looking for batteries if I got them around and if I don't then I've got to go to the store and plus I like to see this is actually working right you can zero it out quickly and see it this one you just have to take it for granted that the number that it's given you is the right number and then you'll have to zero it out so so that's the two different calipers you'll see me use and I, I love them both um, but don't let the dial calipers scare you Thank you.